Hello, this is Ken Power 9 and 8. Welcome to another video. And in this video, uh, I've noticed the problem. You see, if I go into a if I go into a game, uh, I, I still have to use strategy. I can't just send the dude in like this, or else he's gonna die. Like, see, he's gonna die almost immediately. I, I say that then he does that. But I still have to use my brain, even though I've been playing this for so long. And we need to make someone so overpowered that I don't have to use my brain. Wait, oh. <laughs> it actually just, Don't tell me this is actually gonna work. I was trying to prove a point here. No, don't. Don't do it. Bruh. I, I still have to use strategy. I can't just send the dude in like this or else he's gonna die. No kidding. Alright, well, uh, so anyways, uh, the point of today, uh, what I was trying to prove, which turns out to be completely false, is that uh, we need to make the most overpowered character as possible. Uh, and yeah, uh, you can see that uh, soft armor will not work very well. I uh, that was this guy. Uh, watch this. Right, sending him in. Alright, go. Because he already got injured once. Yeah, that's why soft armor doesn't work. So, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, let's finish up this round. I'm just like kind of drafting him along, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, today uh, we're gonna be creating the best character possible. So, uh, first off, uh, obviously, uh, there's different, like, areas that they can take place, uh, but we're gonna be doing like the small rooms, which is my favorite ones, because strategy. Uh, anyways, uh, so for the primary, uh, we can try this one. Uh, we want to give the biggest accuracy up close, and then I think that one has a higher chance. Then we want to give him the best armor, and then I think all of this is pretty good. Alright, now we're gonna try it. Uh, let's get everyone else to the corner so we can see just how overpowered this guy is. Alright. So far we found absolutely no one, so... Probably someone hiding in that bathroom. Nope. Oh, I probably decreased the threat still. Oh, alright. So, uh, it turns out uh, he's not OP enough with the, with the MP5, so... Oh, wait, oh, yeah. Uh... Alright, so this time, uh, let's get it up to all the way 5. Then, this time, uh, we can give him shotgun to see if this will make him better at close range. Then he'll have that pistol, and then, except this guy who's gonna hand open the door. Alright, let's go. Oh, nope. Alright, well, time to assail. Uh, Alright, yay. We're doing something. Alright, let's, let's just keep sending them in on, like, one different runs. They're actually going pre oh wait no nope. no they're actually going pretty well meanwhile this is gonna run to exit all right so yeah anyways uh, I think we found the most OP dude turns out it was the dude I already had uh yeah whops we were gonna try to do like campaign missions with OP characters yeah. Alright, so, we've done two of these, uh, let's do safe house strike, uh, eliminate everybody, that's literally it. Alright, so, then we're gonna have that guy hand open the door, meanwhile these two stand here. Wait, oh wait. Oh wait, uh, 
Alright, let's restart. So immediately, we do not need the grenadiers. Uh, we do need the support, but not the shotgun support. Uh, we want the LMD support. Uh, let's get everyone into their moving positions where they can take on the dudes. I I think the outside might actually be clear. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, anyways, so. Uh, then we're gonna have them move up, then we're gonna have this guy go here, and then, uh, he just, they're actually just to clear the dude, so we don't even need to do the delta. Oh, dude. him hold there and we have him tank through secondary then he's gonna throw a flash thing then check there and then there all right this is gonna work so he throws the flash thing then he moves in and the entire room was clear all along and that was absolutely no point in doing that Alright, then he's gonna hit a reload there. And then this guy's gonna change to his secondary. Meanwhile, this guy has decided that he no longer wants to be over there. And that he's just gonna move over here. And clear everything down there. We'll move them into here. Alright, we got them. Uh, we lost, like, I think the majority of our squad because we were buffoons, but same difference. Mm, should we? I feel like the LMG supports are a good okay. idea. Alright, we're gonna. The third guy that finally comes up decides to yell, they're here, after like the entire other dudes have already died. That's when you know they're a smart person. Alright, we'll have him clear there. I'll hold here. Alright, so there are many different ways we could approach this. Uh, this guy will hand open that door, and we'll have him clear there. Then we have this guy move over there, this guy hold there, and then this guy... He'll manually breach there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not great. But we'll have him push up there. Alright, we'll have him toggle between the run thing, and we'll have him crouch here. Okay, is he not crouched? Alright, so, uh, turns out a green man is actually really OP. Meanwhile, that guy is gonna hand open there. Alright, so...
So yeah. Our right, problems here, so we're just gonna move him up. And we're gonna have him manually reach here. Just got that. of a guy over there. Alright, that was the last guy. We got him. Woohoo. Anyways, yeah, that that's amazing. It's also it for this video. Uh, it's a short video, but if you want to see more, uh, click one of the end cards, and I have epic stuff. Plus, you should subscribe.